Hey, welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, uh, your source for my commentary on Judo matches. So what do I have for you today? I have a match from the Grand Slam in Paris 2022 in the men's under-73 division between uh, Joan Benjamin Gaba from France uh, versus Benjamin Axis, also from France. All right, and uh, let's get into it. So Joan Benjamin is in the white and Benjamin is in the blue. It's all about the Benjamins. I had to make that joke. I'll, I'll show myself out. Okay. Okay, getting grips. You can see the height advantage that uh, Benjamin has, Benjamin Axis has. I think uh, against the, the other match we saw with Fabio, he had a bit of a height advantage as well, so. Okay, <laughs> where are you going, <laughs> Joe Benjamin? <laughs> that's a scram. That's a heck of a scramble. Okay, is uh, Benjamin Axis going to be going for some new ones? It looks like he is trying. And uh, what what's he going for? Okay, the rotation over. Good, nice. Okay, oh good, good continuation of it. But does he expose his neck? He has not. Okay, he's looking okay. Okay. But it uh, looks like Benjamin is trying to go for the... Okay. He might have gone for the armbar, but it seemed like it was too well tucked in, well defended by Joan Benjamin to be worth the effort. So, uh, and the progression might be too, take too long. You know, you, you got to do what takes, uh, what can be done within the time frame that you have. So, oh, okay, nice. And a nice uh, car wheel out of it. Okay, so once again, Benjamin engaging in the Newaza here. Uh, I, he's he's going to go for the roll. No, he's just trying to get his hands under. Okay, so is he going to connect the... Okay, so he's still trying to attack that arm, it would seem. I don't know what the point would be of... I guess he's already on that side with that right leg of his. Yeah. Not the biggest fan of that approach. Uh, especially when you straddle. Because straddling sort of... Uh, it splits your energy in a way. Like, So how do you turn someone over if you're, you're sort of halfway between both? <laughs> Is my thought process. Okay. That's spinning away... I don't know if that's going to fly for long, you know. I don't I haven't seen too much in way of attack from uh Joan Benjamin. Would that count as attack? That he just went flat out. Come on. Yeah. Correct. Shido is correct. What the heck was that, right? Like he just Oh, was Ari? Did he land on his side? I that was fast. If it was Wazari, I wouldn't be surprised. If it wasn't Wazari, I would also not be surprised just because that did happen really fast. Blink of an eye, folks. Blink of an eye. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not a, uh, a referee for at any level, so I don't have to make those calls. But it does look like the foot sweep is there. For Benjamin, he is tall, so not surprising that it's it's within his. Uh, it should be within his arsenal, and uh, you know now that that it's worked, he has had a close call with it. Joan Benjamin, he's going to be a little bit more on the lookout for that. Okay, coming in for the Osoro, hard to do against a taller player. Can be done, but it, it's just hard. Okay. Got to watch us stepping out of bounds. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Out of bounds, Shido. So now we are tied up on Shido's. I don't think that there was a Wazari called there. Uh, but I don't see the scoreboard, so... I could be wrong. Okay. There... Oh. That one, I think, was a non-scorer. Okay. 
Okay. Let's just uh, get your grips again. And... Uh, okay. The over, the over is good if you can close the distance with the over. But the way that uh, Benjamin has been using it, he's kept him at a pretty good distance away, even still. So you go over, you want to normally draw them into your into you, right? So uh, and now uh, Joe Benjamin is fighting that over grip. Uh, Benjamin is going around the around the back. Okay, Joan Benjamin, an another attack there, not bad. Oh, okay. I, I think the problem there is uh, not the original, but um, I guess there wasn't much of a reaction. But like, I, I, I like for it to be a true throw, like you'd have to be okay. I'm assuming there was already was scored because Joan Benjamin is acting with a lot of urgency here. So it looks like that he knows he's behind the scorecard and there's very little time left. So, uh, and this is the end. So Benjamin has won. I'm assuming by the Wazari. Uh, yeah, okay, the Wazari was called earlier. So uh, for that throw that uh, I called as a Wazari earlier. <laughs> Just never got to see the scoreboard. Just once in a while, guys, please, you know. Or put the scoreboard on both sides. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. All right. Congratulations to Benjamin Axis for that. Uh, well deserved. Uh, he kept a pretty strong amount of control. It also explains a little bit of the Nawaza that uh, was going on. But um, yeah, you know, those are my thoughts on this match. If you'd like to add your own or uh, provide feedback or recommendations, please uh, leave a comment. And until next time, have a great night.